What's going on, everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you five games that I think you should 100%. Now, this is honestly kind of a difficult video to make just in general because obviously my tastes aren't in line with everyone's taste, and it's also hard to keep a list like this from just being a list of your favorite games. So my approach for this was to gather up games that I don't talk about as much that I thought were really good, at the same time being very approachable for just about everyone, while hopefully also offering a unique experience of some sort. That said, I do understand that there are people that don't really ever bother 100%ing any game, and I'm with you. If you don't want to do that because it's not fun for you, then yeah, generally speaking, I wouldn't ever suggest that you do that if you're not having fun. But nonetheless, these are five games that I think are worth the effort should you choose to do so. So first and foremost on our list, we have Prey. I am a very big fan of Prey. Prey is a first-person emergency immersive sim that sees us take on the role of Morgan Yu as we try to escape a space station that is being invaded by aliens. On top of this, we can choose to take on a bunch of abilities, even from the aliens themselves, using neuromods, which give you the abilities. These will allow you to do things like use alien powers, but even the choice to do that has in-game consequences. You can run through the game without ever having a single upgrade. There's an achievement for that, which is actually a lot of fun, because as an immersive sim, there's a lot of ways around Around challenges that you might not necessarily realize at first. And while I wouldn't consider it a particularly long game, the more you play this game, the more you find new stuff and you learn new things. And while it does have the occasional negative, and I've reviewed most of these titles, so I will have the links below if you want to hear more about the individual titles, but Prey overall does so many things so well that I think it's a fantastic experience for just about anybody. Next up on our list, we have Control. Control is a really cool title that blends the paranormal with bureaucracy, basically. Think X-Files, that's kind of always the vibe it reminded me of. Or something like the SCP, for instance, where there's just a lot of bureaucracy and procedures, etc. around handling paranormal events. So you combine that kind of cool plot hook, if you will, around the gameplay, which is a lot of fun that sees you levitating, using a lot of cool paranormal powers. And the game is just a fantastic experience that really doesn't run on for too long or overstay its welcome. It's a relatively easy game to 100%. I think I did the entire thing in about 40 hours, give or take. And on top of all of that, it has a really compelling narrative, much like our third title, Jedi Fallen Order. So on top of having a fantastic story to tell, it is of course very fun to play. It's sort of Star Wars meets kind of sort of Dark Souls. I believe to take a quote from my actual review, I said it's like if Dark Souls respected you as a person. There's a lot of customizable difficulty on the higher end. It's a very much so Souls-like experience in that way. And honestly, it's easily one of the best Star Wars games, period. And on top of all that, it's frankly very easy to 100%. The entire thing took me maybe 20 hours. It's a game with a great story, great gameplay. It's Star Wars, of course. And it's very respectful of your time, so just a fantastic title. And if you like Star Wars at all, I definitely think people should 100% Jedi Fallen Order. Now, number four on our list, we have the only longer title really on this list, and that is Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. If you watch this channel a lot, a genre that I cover a lot is CRPGs, and this is the only one I could bring myself to sneak in on this list. But one of the reasons I think people should 100% Deadfire is that if you just do the main story, it's a pretty lackluster experience. The main story is kind of okay. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's not great. In fact, most of the awesome content is the side content, the DLCs, exploring the map. That part of the game is fantastic, and they kind of wanted a short main story in response of the criticism for the first game story being too long. Now, in my opinion, I think they overcorrected, but that doesn't change the fact that Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire is a fantastic game with a ton of content to offer. In terms of CRPGs, it's probably one of the best in terms of its user experience. Combine that with the fact that you can regularly find it for very cheap 
you can get 100 plus hours out of trying to 100% this thing. And thanks to all of the gameplay innovations, etc. from the first title, should you choose to do so, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with Deadfire, exploring all the politics around the various factions that are vying for the resources of the Deadfire archipelago. And I think it's a great CRPG that everyone can 100% provided, mind you, that you enjoy a bit of reading. It is a little heavy on the text, and if that kind of thing's not for you, then you probably wouldn't like Deadfire, but barring that, it's a great game and a great experience. And home to my favorite DLC, frankly, which is none other than Beast of Winter. Last but not least on our list, we have Fable. More specifically, Fable 1 and the Anniversary Edition. I'm actually a big fan of the Fable series, but the first one has always been my favorite. And with the Anniversary edition that came out almost a decade ago now, which hurts to say, you can have a really great experience with that first game that will take you very little time to 100%. Again, this is a game that might take you 20 hours. It's a lot of fun. It's cheesy and corny in places, but there's a lot of abilities, a lot of ways to make a few different builds that are a lot of fun. I think the concept around being a hero at a guild was a really cool thing. And at the time the game was released, all of the interactions you could have with NPCs, etc. were pretty impressive at the time. And while it's a game that definitely shows its age, I do think Fable is a fantastic game. Frankly, I just think people should check out the original in all of its glory for about 20 hours before the official reboot coming up, just so you can get a feel for where the series was and how far it's come. There you guys go. There are five games that I think you should 100%. Let me know about other titles you think people should 100% down below. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. The channel recently hit 60,000 subscribers, which I'm very excited about. So truly, thank you again to everyone watching, everyone hitting that subscribe button. And frankly, anybody interacting with my videos in any way, shape, or form, the channel is growing every day as a result, and I can't say it enough. Thank you, may you wander in wisdom, and have an amazing day.